Uh, it certainly has a very powerful presence here. I'm not sure if it's based here, but I have been to the Kabbalah Center only once because I had to communicate something to a friend who was there. So it is not something that, that I'm into. Well, is it because you're not been exposed to it? Because I imagine it's uh, the talk about rituals with the red string around the wrist, and it's all it's it, drinking Kabbalah water, and it's nothing but rituals. It sounds like from an outsider's perspective. Again, I don't know much. Right. It is. It is. Uh, it's it's a mystical uh, religion, and and I have no use for mysticism. Uh-huh. And and rituals are not something I, I naturally gravitate to. I actually do the the minimum required. Uh huh. So this Alexander technique, other than telling you how to stand up and sit down and sit in a chair and lie down on a bed, what what else has it done for you, and why what what attracted you to it, and um, and and why? Are well, you the, still the, the 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 embarrassing truth is that I was reading a book on how to meet women, <laughs> and it recommended that one study the Alexander technique so that you appear more poised. Uh huh. And you think it's helped with that? Uh, well, I haven't had any. <laughs> I haven't had any <laughs> results that would empirically verify that for me uh-huh. in that department. But uh, it it has improved my life in various ways um, I, kind I, of like dim the the loser flashing e- yeah. on sign on my forehead do you, do you really feel that that's so do you really feel that women look at you and think loser uh yeah mm-hmm. not not all women but but some women and mm-hmm. quite enough to have left a very strong impression uh-huh. on my psyche uh and <laughs> and um you write a lot we we mentioned this earlier on your blog about your uh, uh relationships with women What's been the most successful relationship with, that you've had with a woman? Have you ever had a two-year relationship, a two-year monogamous relationship with a woman? No, I've had a bunch of uh, relationships that have lasted about a year. Mm-hmm. And so there's no relationship that I would put on a <laughs> put on <laughs> on a boy. And do and they o- is- and do the women always leave you? No. Uh, sometimes you say, "I've had enough. It's time for you to leave." All right. <laughs> Uh, but none of them are uh, models for for anybody. Well, meaning what? Well, I mean, some of them are like functioning. Yeah, I mean, so they're functioning relationships, but uh, none of them have really been close to getting married, and mm-hmm. so they've just been uh, marking time till we go our separate ways. Mm-hmm. So what what are you what are you uh, looking for? To, I mean, I'm, I imagine that a woman would have to be Jewish, right? Right, or be willing to convert to Judaism, uh, and they uh, a woman would have to be roughly your age, right? <laughs> or down to eighteen. <laughs> well, would you really want to? I mean, would you really have a lot in common with an eighteen-year-old? <laughs> Heck yeah! Yeah, I don't think you. I don't think you really intellectually you wouldn't have a lot in common with an eighteen-year-old, and maybe that intellectually would be- I can talk to you, Mark. I mean, there are all sorts of other things that I could do with an eighteen-year-old. Yeah, I know, but that only lasts for so long. Lust only lasts for so long. Yeah, I know. Casual sex is only rewarding for the first few decades. <laughs> um, all right, so uh, so eighteen to eighteen to forty something is uh, the age range that you'd be looking for someone. Has to be yeah. Jewish. Um, are you very picky about weight and eye color and height? And are those are those particulars necessary too to satisfy the? I wouldn't want her more than like twenty pounds overweight. Uh huh. So okay. I'm not really into fat chicks. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, oh no, that's 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 reasonable. I understand that. What about? Um, uh, she, she has to read books and she has to be able to laugh. Uh huh. Because otherwise, she wouldn't last five minutes in the hall. Well, so I mean, th- these things don't seem unreasonable. Uh, are you, for instance, when was the last time you were uh, on a date? Oh, ouch! Uh, about six weeks ago. Uh huh. How'd that go? I had this two-week uh, thing with someone I met in yoga, and I thought it was going marvelously. And then she suddenly did not return my call for a week. And then finally she called back and said, someone from my past came back.